crafty friends it's andrea from prairie sky diy your independent stampin up demonstrator in manitoba we're gonna get inky today um i just got the mini blending brushes which are i would say about half if not um more small than the regular size um, I was thinking that these would probably give a little bit more control over what I'm doing. So I've had this idea percolating for a couple of days. So I really hope that it turns out in reality as good as I think it will be in my head. Um, we're going to be breaking out spiral dye, which I also haven't used for a while. And it's going to be a simple sentiment um, Happy Labels is what we're going to be using. I've got Night of Navy, Daffodil Delight, Tahitian Tide, and Granny Apple Green. Um, and I've also got a small piece of Parakeet Party that I've already punched out. Not sure if that's what I'm going to be using or not. Um, but let's get started and see where we end up. So the little brushes are exactly the same as the big brushes. Just ink it up a little bit. Start off your paper and apply color. I'm just gonna kind of go a little bit wherever with it. And I love the um, the blending brushes because the more you go, the darker it gets. Um, and then you can always back it off as well. Now I am going to um, keep one color per brush. To wash them, all you do is run them underwater. Um, you can use a little bit of soap if you want. Some of the darker colors and the reds do stain, but staining once they're clean and they run clear of ink, um, the staining really is not a big deal at all. All right, so we're just going to come in with this. I'm kind of hoping that it's going to look a little bit more like watercolor, not watercolor, tie-dye. Um, I am using also the basic white thick for this. If you're a little bit nervous, maybe that your paper is going to go somewhere that you don't want it to go, you can absolutely tape it down. Now this is a little bit bigger than I'm going to want to have my finished size B. Oh, she's been acting a fool all day. I have no idea what she's barking at. And then we're just going to go ahead and do our last. I'm not sure. I was going to go with crushed curry, but then I decided Daffodil Delight might be a little bit more in line with the tones of these. And I think I was right. So there'll be darker areas, there'll be lighter areas. It all depends on how much ink you've got on, how hard you press, and where you want to take it. So blend a little bit of color, you'll have a different look. Actually, I think I'm going to go back in a few places. I do have lots of ink on this still, so I'm just going to uh, keep going. I think I'm good with that close our ink before something happens okay might actually keep that for a project um now we're gonna grab our spiral die now there's a few ways that you can do this guy um you can put it on the biggest stampin block you can do it like i'm gonna be doing it so just face down or face up on your work surface and just ink it up um, or you can uh, stamp radis with it. Now, I'm not too terribly fussy with how this is actually going. Well, I am fussy of how it's going to look. But I know that um, it might not be a perfect impression because the stamp doesn't give a perfect impression. It kind of reminds me of a fossil, actually. So when I'm doing it this way, <clears throat> I like to just drop it onto my stamp line up the edges and then just rub. Now, if you don't want to get ink on your fingers, you can always grab your brush 
the advantage of this, I mean, I'm usually inky when I'm creating anyway, um, is you can see where you've rubbed and where you haven't because if you've picked up ink from the edges, it can be pretty much guaranteed that you're going to have a perfect impression. And then I just, up we come. There we go. So I'm going to push this guy off to the side and let this dry for about half a second or so. Um, you can either let it air dry or you can just give it some time um, with the heat gun. Just give it a quick little blast. Now I think, I'm not sure actually. I am going to trim this down and I think I'm going to add a strip of the not quite navy. Move this guy out of the way. Um, I'll just do a band. Now the card base that I've chosen um, is an item navy as well, so that's going to coordinate. And I'm just going to cut, there's an edge that I don't love as much. I'm going to cut a quarter of an inch off. Um, but if you didn't quite hit the edges exactly as you want, you can always do an eighth of an inch all the way around. If you didn't get covered in ink, did you really craft? Well, that's how it feels some days in this craft room. Okay. a little bit of bling on here as well. Oh, I was crafting with dimensionals earlier. Oh well. Dimensional. Added dimensional on the back of this guy. Now it is smudging a little bit because it is still a little bit wet. But that's all right. Tie-dye is not perfect. Um, happy like this. Let's see which. <coughs> Excuse me, a tickle in my throat. I think we'll just do a simple hello. So I haven't used this one yet. Um, so I'll do my sticker onto here really quick and really easy. All you have to do is peel the sticker off of your sticker sheet, peel your sticker off the back of your stamp. Usually you can tell which way is up by the shape of the stamp with the sticker. Give it a push down, pull it up, and you're done. That is by far um, the easiest way that I've seen stamp application or sticker application to stamp. Now I am going to add Might have been a little heavy handed, but we'll see. I'm just gonna stamp our hello. Uh, I grabbed the navy ink with that as well. Straight down, straight up. I'm gonna grab our little banner that we've created right across the center-ish. There's a lot of ish in my craft room. Put this guy, you know what, we'll pop it up on dimensionals, I think. There's one, there's two. For small shapes like this, I only usually put a couple. And then, whoops. I'll go right across the center. Um, let's see. Let's see if we've got handy for boys. If you've been following my page at all, um, you'll know that I've been doing a bit of a craft room purge slash clean. It's been a little topsy-turvy in here while I'm getting everything back aligned. But when it's done, it'll be well worth the effort. All right, I'm not seeing anything that I really, nothing's really jumping out at me. You know what, I think I'm just going to go over here and grab some of our um, I think I'm just going to do basic rhinestones. Can never have too much bling on a card. Okay, 
And I love using stuff that I've already got in my stash or things that I've had in my stash for a while um, that I haven't really done much with. And coming up in February, some international Stampin' Up! friends and I are doing um, an international Stampin' Retreat. It's all online. Um, February 25th, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, there's going to be six presentations, um, coloring, how to use your paper, how to use what you've already got in your stash so you don't have to use your cash. Um, I will pop the link below if you're interested in finding out more about that. Um, it is international, so anybody is welcome to join and you can register through my link. So there's our card, fairly quick, fairly easy. The only thing that I'm gonna do now um, is put some a piece on the inside, probably four by five and a quarter, um, same as on the outside, but super quick, super easy, used. The only new thing that I used today, well, other than my new pack of rhinestones, which I've had, were the mini brushes. Um, Thank you so much for watching. I always do truly appreciate you spending any amount of time with me in your day. I hope you get creative. If you do, I would love to see what you create over either in my VIP group or on my page. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you soon.